Hi guys, Timmy here. Today I was going to do a review of one of the fragrances from the House of Zoologists, but I'm feeling very sick today and my nose is very stuffy, so I feel like I wouldn't be doing this fragrance justice if I review it now. But I really want to get a video out to you guys today, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to be sharing with you guys my lineup for the fall and winter of 2016. Now I decided to combine fall and winter into one video because I live in Alaska and the fall season here is pretty chilly. I'll most likely be wearing the same fragrances in the fall like I would in the winter and for those of you who don't know how fragrance lineup works, it's basically what I wear in different situations throughout the season. In the lineup there will be 6 occasions and that is work, night out, dates, formal, signature set, and daring. Now how I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be showing you guys 2 or 3 for each category because I do switch what I wear quite a lot so without further ado let's start off with my work scent for my work scent I have two and they are Pine Neo by Givenchy and Silver Mountain Water by Creed let's talk first about Pine Neo now Pine Neo is one of my most favorite designer fragrance ever it's very unique, inoffensive and very likable Perfect for work environment because it doesn't project too heavy and lasts all day. Strong enough for the winter time unless it's extremely cold out. Now on to Silver Mountain Water. This one is simply refreshing. It smells very nice. It's sweet floral cool breeze in the bottle. It's not my favorite smell but it works very well for work. Lasts all day also. Good projection. Definitely worth checking out. My next category is going to be my night out fragrances. Now this category I have three because I go out quite often and I use these in different types of nights out. For indoor type of nights out where it's not too crowded like a friend's house party and gathering maybe, I would wear this guy, Wanted by Asaro. This is a new release from the house and I gotta say it's pretty good. Not the best but for indoor scenes I love it. It has a nice refreshing ginger and lemon vibe. Stingy if smelled too close, but the siosh will surely turn heads. If you can, definitely get your notes on this one. For outdoor nights, like outdoor bars and restaurants, I like to wear Abercrombie and Finch Woods. This one is a hidden gem of mine. Three simple notes, lavender, vetiver, and musk. It is super fresh, super clean, and super sexy. It's fresh out of the shower lavender smell with a punch of musk in the background. Love this one a lot. The only sad thing is, this is discontinued. But if you can grab this one online somewhere for a reasonable price, please do guys. This is one for the collection for sure. Now for clubbing, crowded places, doesn't matter for indoor or outdoor, I like to wear this one right here guys. You all know it or have heard of it. It is Aventus by Creed. Fresh pineapple and smooth musk. This just smells like what a man should smell like. Perfect all year round except for when it's super hot out. Not gonna say too much about this one because most of us already heard so much about it. But if you haven't smelled this yet, definitely put this on the top of your must try list. Next category is date scent. And before I start this one guys, I want you guys to know that I'm a huge huge fan of gourmand fragrances. And I'm always in search for a new delicious scent. So for date scent, both of them are going to be the best gourmand I've ever came across. First one is from the Dior La Collection of Privé line. It's Fab Delicious. Guys, this is it. Rich, delicious, high class chocolate cake in a bottle. This one just smelled so good. I almost want to eat my own hand every time I spray it. No joke. I've never gotten a negative reaction from this one. Girls love it. It's sweet but not overly sweet. Just perfect. Last 10 plus hours for me. Even after washing my hand throughout the day, I can still smell it. One of my favorite guys. Great, great date scent. Next one is my number one gourmand. It used to be Fev, but this one dethroned Fev after the very first sniff. It's another chocolate gourmand, but not the same type of chocolate. This is a white chocolate dessert, and it's called Coco Blanc by the House of Matriarch. White chocolate, vanilla, with a little bit of spices and wood. This one is mouth-watering. Can't say enough good things about it. It's very unique. You won't smell anything like this one. Very delicious and seductive. Works for both men and women. It would smell amazing off both. A very intimate fragrance. Great for dates and close quarters. Love, love, love this one. If I could smell like anything for the rest of my life, it would be this fragrance. Hands down, 100% must try for every fragrance lover. Up next is my formal occasion fragrance. Only one on this list. I don't really get to go to formal events that often, but when I do, I'm wearing this one. Slow to say, for home, intense. This is an oldie but amazing scent for suit and tie. It's an incense fragrance. It's dark, sophisticated, and mysterious. 
It's a scent that I can definitely imagine a successful Oriental CEO wearing. I like this one a lot. Another unique one, but it does get mixed reactions. Some people really love it, but some not so much. Don't overspray this one guys. It is on the strong side. Two to three sprays max for winter, one for hotter days. On to signature scent. This list I have two. And the first one is going to be a surprise to a lot of you guys for sure because it's said to be a daring and hard to wear fragrance but to me it just works. I can wear this in almost any occasion and I do wear it quite a bit. This one is the smell of the Moroccan desert. It is called Blair du Desert Marocain by Andy Tower. This one is a masterpiece. Fun for the Hall of Fame for sure. Andy Tower created a fragrance that can really paint a picture whenever you smell it. And to me that's incredible. The names translate to the air of the Moroccan desert and the scent actually smells like what a desert might smell like. It's dry, spicy and warm. Very creative and unique. Love this scent. It gives me this warm scent bubble whenever I wear it which is perfect for the winter time. I surprisingly never got a negative comment for this one but I do know some people who won't like it. This is strictly winter for me because in the heat it will be too cloying. Check this one out guys, if you haven't, you're really missing out. Next, relaxing white floral fragrance. It's by the brand Tom Ford, the private collection. It is Venetian Bergamot. This one is really underrated. Not enough people talk about it and it makes me sad. Because this is quite an amazing one guys. It was a love at first sniff for me. I smelled this while I was on vacation in Thailand and I had to have it right away. I bought it and I swear I wore this 80% of the time I was in Thailand and I was there for about two months. The warm, rich gardenia smell is very captivating and calming. This is my most poor scent ever since I got it. Versatile for any situation and all year round scent. Definitely a gem in my collection. Check this one out also guys, 10 out of 10 in my book. Last but not least, my daring scent. I really don't have a daring scent in my collection, so I'll tell you guys what I like to own and wear in the future for this category. It's by the House of Zoologists, and I can't imagine a more daring scent than this one to be honest. It's called Bat. This one is Damp Earth and Fruit. Very strong on the offensive side. I wouldn't feel safe wearing this near people at all. I would wear this only when I want to go exploring places or go on little adventures because it evokes such a sense of being daring and adventurous that to me is perfect for capturing the memories of those places I would go explore. Definitely another masterpiece, but not for the faint of heart. Get your nose on this one guys, Bat by Sologist, my choice for daring scent. That concludes the list for today guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more reviews in the future, and when I get my health back to normal, I'll be reviewing the House of Sologist for you guys, so stay tuned for that as well. I'll also be leaving the link to these fragrances in the description below. Anyway, have a great week, and please rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace!